daughter to sister ships. All three? It all started when I was a girl of 17. My mother was ill. So I decided, as money was urgently needed, to try myself for a position as a stewardess on a ship. The meeting seemed to go well until he says I was far too young and attractive. So, I give him my word that I would be most circumspect and careful if he could just see his way to give me the post. I had a great many journeys at sea. And one in particular, the Olympic Titanic sister ship. The largest and finest to fly the British flag. Oh, I used to get a fresh thrill every time I walked through Olympic's beautiful state rooms with all their exquisite woodwork and their sumptuous silk furnishings. I spent a year on that wonderful ship. I even got a marriage proposal from one of the passengers. But later in the year, the Olympic collided with another ship, the HMS Hawk. Was that your first crash? Yes, and I hoped it would be my last. But it was only a year before I joined the crew of the Titanic. This second ship was decidedly grander, grander and improved in every way. There was private decks for the best suites and oh, you should see the lace bedspreads. <sighs> Truly beautiful. But it was on the Sunday night. It was oh so quiet and oh so calm. When crash! We've been told it on our life jackets. I felt quite chilly with mine on, so I went down to get something to cover me shoulders. You know, it was strange to see all the rooms lit up so brilliantly. Their doors open and their contents lying all around in a mess. I mean, jewels were sparkling on dressing room tables. And before I could do anything, a young mason hailed me. Look after this, will you? And he threw a young babe into my arms. It was 1916 when I had my next misadventure. I was working as a nurse for the Red Cross when we were hit. We struck a mine. We got into the lifeboats, but the huge propellers were churning and mincing everything around them like men in boats and... My boat was getting nearer and nearer, so I jumped. I couldn't breathe. And there was this terrific crash above me, and something hit me in the back of the head. And all I could feel was this whirling and choking ache, and all of a sudden, I rose to the light of day. And I could breathe. All the deck machinery fell into the sea like... like a child's toys. And then she made a fearful plunge and disappeared into the depths. But you survived. Yes, I did. Uh, for a third time. Mm -hmm.